Hi, I'm Patsy Phelan. I'm a senior researcher at TSSG, and today we're going to talk with John Day. So we have a few questions here. Um, the future internet is an incredibly broad topic. Given the diversity of technologies involved, uh, how difficult is it to reach consensus on standards, and how far away are we from that, do you think? No idea. Um, I'm not involved uh, and not interested in the future internet, actually. Um, I'm interested in really creating the first internet. Uh, the, what we have today is actually a catanet. Uh, doesn't really, isn't really a true internet. Um, and I've been trying to figure out what are the principles that underlie networks and build accordingly. The way I always put it is if the current internet were an operating system, it would be DOS. Basically, we're trying to support the world economy with the equivalent of DOS. Is there currently a real push or rush to push development forward, or is it just mostly media hype? There's a lot of media hype, uh, and I think a lot of it is being done to generate funding for research universities and, and, and the like. Um, the trouble is that there's all this hype around it, but they haven't really gotten anywhere. E the future internet idea has been floating around for about 10 years now. And I have not seen any breakthroughs. I have not seen anything really new come out of that effort. The current internet is fundamentally flawed. There are things that just can't be fixed. Um, and it's only been kept law by Moore's Law and constant pageant. And from what we've seen of our work, uh, we can probably, do, it appears that we can make the transition seamless so that it will not be disruptive to users whatsoever. So while, yes, we have to change the whole thing out, we can do it a little at a time. Where do you stand on net neutrality? Um, should online content and services be entirely unrestricted or restricted? Basically, net neutrality is a topic that was generated to create political cover for the failure of the current internet people to s solve the problem. We have a basic resource management problem getting mixed up with a political problem because we failed to solve a technical problem. So at some point, the roles kind of reversed and now we've got people saying, well, you know, you should not be allowed to solve the technical problem because of the political problem. You know, I think this is a, a, a false issue. But would you think that's an issue that's been around before? Like in the original starting off of the internet, you know that politics is basically weighing in on the technical solution and architectures. Well, the interesting thing here is that the nature of the current internet model doesn't really give the operators much room to develop a business model. Um, some of the new architectures that we've been looking at seem to actually create some fairly interesting new business model opportunities. So if, let's say, the operators adopt RENA into the future, they would actually have a chance to start upselling services that they, they, they control they, on their network. This would give them some ability, I think it would give them some ability to create new business models that would allow them to sell services and open have um, developed businesses that they don't have now. I think we will see a far safer, more secure network. Um, I think some of the things that we've been looking at will actually allow almost a viral network, if you will, um, that would be le much less under go government control and much more secure.